I just actually figured that out now. And, cha cha, guess what this means? Another DIY how to make a cool outfit out of a large t shirt. <laughs> Hope you like the look. Oh, there's this band called Clutch. And I went to their concert last year, and they're coming back to town. And I think it'd be cool to take their t-shirt that I bought last time and turn it into a dress for this time. I'm going to start with cutting off both arms. Now what I have found, I looked this up on the internet, it's actually easier ways to cut. Just make a slit with your scissors and then rip because t-shirt material is very easy to manipulate. Once you get to a seam where you can't rip any further, just cut right through the seam and continue to rip again. And it'll usually stick to the direction you cut in, so it'll rip pretty much along the line that you want it to go along. There's one sleeve. And then I'm going to pull it taut, which will make the t-shirt material curl in on itself a bit. I don't know if you can see here. Curls in a little bit, which creates a nice edge. Same with the other side. Both arms are off. I'm going to stretch this one out as well. On a large men's t-shirt, they actually get pretty big armholes. <laughs> so as you can see, it's kind of almost jersey style, like a um, basketball jersey. There's this really cool emblem on the back of the shirt. It's a round circle. And I'm just going to do kind of some funky cuts around that. I'm going to cut from the top collar down and stop where the circle is and go around and then do another one sideways. You'll see what I mean when I cut it. So take a look right here. I left the collar, the wide collar, and then just cut kind of two lines down. And I'm going to cut off the tag on the inside. Now I'm just continuing to go around the circle, as you can see, and make little peekaboo spots. Kind of cutouts around it. A bunch of strands coming up from the middle to almost make like a spider web looking effect on the back. All you have to remember is every time that you cut to just stretch it. It's a new technique I learned and it actually makes the edges look kind of nice. It'll just straighten the edge for you. As you can see for instance like see this edge you just pull it It'll curl over itself and look actually pretty nice. When I rip the spider edges out, I go right to the edge of the sleeve. So it's really just a thin little piece that's holding the sleeve around. To make this a little more simple for you to understand, basically the circle in the back is divided into eight, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I kind of came up with this cool idea to braid the pieces. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the strips coming out from the middle and I'm going to cut it into three sections and braid it. Now once I get to the end, I'm actually going to sew it on the collar piece about two and a half inches over from the middle piece. Just with a little stitch. And make sure I sew in all three parts of the braid so it doesn't undo. Once you stitch it on, cut off any excess, and it's a braid. So I'm going to do that the same with the other side. So I braided the top three parts, and I think it looks really good. So I'm not actually going to do the same to all the other parts of the spider web as well. <laughs> so I'll get back to you once that's done. Here's all the strands, the spider strands that I cut off and braided. It's now disconnected to the rest of the shirt because I had to cut them all off to braid them, but we'll stitch them back together later. So now I decided what I wanted to do for the front of the shirt. Basically what I want is, see that collar that goes around the top? I basically want to cut around the collar. There you go. Collar's cut off. And right now it's actually a complete separate part of the shirt. <laughs> For the rest of this, I'm going to do two braids coming up like this. Two slits makes three pieces. Should look like this. 
this is my crazy invention of the day. So here's my little spider, I'm calling my spider. And there's the collar. And here's the top of the dress. Um, basically, I'm going to attach this part to the collar there, this part to the collar there. And I'm going to cut the excess here on the neck. There we go. If you see this very well. Take this, cut in here, and do another braid. And then these two I'm going to sew together. And these two I'm going to sew together. Wait, those two I'm going to sew together. It's going to be Braid City here. Hello, birds. So, uh, I did all my braiding. <laughs> it looks like a big hot mess right now. <laughs> Basically, what I'm doing, I'm making a spider web through of cutouts in the back, braiding the different strands, and tying them to strands in the front. So I'm basically ripping sections off, braiding them, and then tying them together. And I even put uh, a couple little beads at the end uh, to make kind of like tassel looking things. So finally I've got the bottom of this dress that has got nothing going on. So I'm going to see, I think it's going to be a top by the end of it because might be a little short for a dress. So basically I'm going to turn it this way, inside out, close it, and I'm going to sew it shut. Good try it on. So guys, we're almost done. It's very close. So by the front, it actually kind of works as a very short, I don't know if you can see it, very short mini dress. Ja. And if you turn around, it's kind of crazy on the back, pretty actually very crazy. The last thing I have to do is take the middle strand from the spider web and sew it to the bottom of the dress right there. Hey guys, so check it out. New dress just made some crazy spider web back. I kind of did it my own way, just trial and error, but basically I just took a whole bunch of strands off the back and off the sides and braided them all and then tied them together in different ways to make it look like a cool spider web. So check it out once more. Hope you like the look. And you can create your very own. It's not that hard. Just try and experiment. Do it your own way. Be your own creative self. And send me the pics if you want on my fan pages. Mwah. Love ya. Because you left the left.